I wanted to make a pink rag wreath and I didn't have any pink fabric, so I improvised. <laughs> I used this pastel food coloring, mixed it with some water, and I I dunked I dunked my tea towels and I made pink fabric. <laughs> See? If you don't have it, you can make it. So I actually um, put about four drops in, wasn't happy. That's why you saw two different bowls. So then I made another mixture and I put about six drops in. I liked the pink a lot better. And then I just cut the fabric about one inches wide and then I just tore it all the way down. I did use both tea towels. I cut them to nine inches. So they're about one inch by nine inch. <clears throat> And I ended up cutting about 65 of them it took for this wreath. So I was, I did start out with the Dollar Tree heart wreath and um, I wasn't gonna have enough fabric. So I looked at my stash and I had this skinnier one and so I went with it. But you just take the strips and you just fold them in half and then just put it under the wreath and then put it through the loop and pull. And then once you get them on, um, I just separate them. I'll show you in a minute, but I just separate them to make it look full. Now, if you wanted to, you could use all of the rings on here. So there's three different rings. So you could um, make it fuller is what you could do. That's what I'm trying to say. So once you get them on and you just spread them apart, it makes it look fuller. And um, I, I just love anything rag. I think it's cute farmhouse style. It's cute non-farmhouse style. You could do it with any fabric um, if you wanted to just use, you know, white or um, beige. You know, you could use it year round. I think it's very cute. So you just get it on there. I did do it a little bit slower right here to show you um, exactly what I'm doing. So you just fold it in half. So you have nine inches, you fold it in half. And then I put it underneath the wreath form and put it through the tail through the loop and then I just pull. And then once you get it on there, you just separate it to make it look fuller. They're very easy to do, especially if you're just sitting there watching TV. It's just a really quick, fun project and I think they're really cute. Now I am going to finish this project tonight. If you're interested, I will go live and because we're going to do something with this wreath. But I wanted to show you how I made it. So here we go. So once you get it all spread out, if there's any that were kind of long, because I, 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 a couple of my pieces were really long, you, you can just trim them. So I, I trimmed a couple um, at the point of the heart on the inside. But it just fluffed it up, and I just had so much fun. And I think it's going to be really cute when I'm done with my project. This is what the back of it looks like. Tell me what you think. Hit that like button. Hit that share button for me. Make sure you're following me if you're not. And I hope you have a great day. Hopefully I'll see you tonight on my live. Thank you.